put it now. Hey Isaiah, Michaela has back them now. Who are you? Uh, uh. Wait, oh, what did you say? Has That's not how it works. Cool. Now I already told you. Why'd you say cool? I said I will shut that shit down. <laughs> I will shut that shit down. Oh, Listen. Carol from The Walking Dead. Listen, listen, listen. No, we're not going to. Yes, we are. Just listen to the beautiful dialogue. Turn it up. <laughs> Alright. I need you to know me. So. Back to it. <laughs> oh, he nailed him then. The audio. <laughs> he hits him twice. <laughs> Is that noise? It's a flashback. Isn't Negan like a good guy now? Yeah. But you just took a hell of a hit. I just popped your skull so hard, your eyeball just popped out! Oh, I you did as gross as shit! It's hard and you stuck slack. See, that's why I can't watch. Again. The walking dead again. Yeah. <laughs> the walking dead. You can go, okay? <laughs> no. You didn't send it to anyone. <laughs> 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 you just call me Isaiah. Yeah. 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 You didn't send it to anyone, babe. Right? Huh? Who is shooting at me? Guys can't aim. Telltale Walking Dead is far superior to that no. show. No! <laughs> it's third hey, in line. You, do you know what the, uh, the Walking Dead game? Um, I've heard of it and I've seen it, but I haven't played it before. Because I didn't like, buy it. It goes like the first season on my Kindle, but I watched the whole thing on YouTube. It, it goes the TV show, the comics, and then the Telltale games. Sounds about it. Like it goes from best to worst, what I just named. <laughs> How many games did they make? I think they made like, what, two? No, I think they, they made like mobile games. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the main one is a Telltale game. Dang, Rick got blood on his boots. Blue boots. I had a couple blood splatters on my boots. They weren't big ones. They were just. Why do you have blood in your boots? Um, school. Bloody place. <laughs> I didn't kill anybody. You got blood in your shoes at school? Only on my boots. Dang, I wouldn't you like beating somebody or something. Like I wouldn't dare get blood on my white pants. <laughs> you see, boots are for dirty work. Bands are for fashion time. Look, Isaiah, it was it was after my 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 nemesis Talik knocked my tooth out. I retaliated the Talik? next day. <laughs> yeah, I retaliated the next day. Wait, I thought I thought nothing ever happened with that. 
<laughs> Nothing happened after I retaliated. That's what I was saying. Wait, what? What did you do? So, my, like, it wasn't the next day because I didn't go to school the next day, but I had finals. This was like the last day before winter break. And Wait, this is like the big dude, right? Yes, he is like 6'6. 6'6 six, 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 six and five. He just like gave like a half apology and that was it. Yeah, he did after, like when I got back from winter break and everything, because then I guess he had time to think about it. But um, what was it? This is like this is like the first time I went up to like someone that I most likely could have lost to. But um, I was mad as fuck when I got back because I that like not, not even getting my tooth knocked out was the most painful part. It was when I had to go and the orthodontist. Like, this was, like, late at night. The, everything was closed. This was, like, 10 at night. The orthodontist office was literally closed. He had to open it back up for me. My tooth was basically dangling out. He had to take my tooth. No numbing. No numbing. Because they couldn't. They, the orthodontist doesn't have, like, the needle numbing. Because they don't have that there. This was a this was an dentist office. He had to take the tooth yeah, that was dangling you, up. Was that, like, the only it, option? Why'd you go to an orthodontist? Because, um, the Wait, dentist was closed. It, yeah. Is it that beat up? No, I didn't get beat up. It was an accident in basketball. But, um, so the, the dentist was closed and it needed to be done immediately because if we didn't get it back in there, my nerves would have died and I would have lost my tooth. So I had to be done like uh, that night and the orthodontist was the only place open. So we went in there and then my tooth was dangling out. I couldn't eat or anything. He had to take you, no numbing. Like I'm telling you, this is the worst pain I've ever felt and jammed my tooth back into my gums and I reattached it to my like roots. You pushed it up in there? Yeah, yeah. And I was just like sitting there like, I, I've never like screamed from pain before, but that shit had me doing it. Like, tears came out of my eyes. Cause you know, like, they had to reattach it to the root. No numbing, just fucking jam it back in there. And I couldn't. I, ugh, shit. Oh, Why didn't gosh. they numb it? Cause it, the orthodontist office don't have to. All they do is braces there. Yeah. So they don't pull. So then, yeah, I. I like I couldn't talk for a while after that. I was just kind of in shock. Like I was just kind of like a fucking Wait, what, robot. So that was like earlier this year, right? Yeah, it was December. Well, then I went back oh. to school and like after that, and we went because this dude wasn't even in my PE. He goes in there, and um, it's like one of them kids who just goes to random classes. Yeah, he comes in, oh. and then I was like, I don't know if I'll ever see this kid again because I don't have any classes with him. But then he's in my PE when I got back, and I was like, fuck this dude. I wait for him to go in the locker room, and he's in there, and he was alone, so I was like, this is my chance. I walk in there, and he turns around, and I just fucking sock the shit out of him, and I had to, like, walk There's up. There's no way, bro. I walked up to him, and, like, he turned around, I just, like, you know, like, you wind back, and then he turns around, I just sock the <laughs> shit out of him, and I guess he knew he deserved that, because nah, he, I just did he not. looked, I swear, bro, I swear. Is he bigger than you? Yeah, bro, he's six, like six, 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 seven, and he's buff. I was like this, I was suit way skinnier back then too. Oh, what the hell? Doesn't mean I'm back now. I did not know and, this happened. Hey, I, I was like telling you, like he didn't like um retaliate back from that. Like I guess he realized what he fucked up when he knocked my tooth out. That he didn't do anything after that. How did he and, knock your tooth? Okay, so we were playing basketball, and since I'm, I don't. Okay, so basketball is weird when you're playing high school because high school people are a lot shorter than like NBA or college players. So like 6'3 is sh shorter for the NBA, but in high school 6'3 is as tall as like you're going to get. So I have to play center with like the big men. And so I had to play center, which is like the biggest person on the team. Well, he, this kid named Talik was on the other team I was playing against. and. We both went up to get the rebound because the person missed the shot and we were both trying to grab the rebound so we could like get it for our team. But he went up and he grabbed it and I, I still think he did it kind of intentionally, but he came down and swung his elbow down as hard as he could and just nailed me in the tooth. So I had to run to the locker room and I had to go to the nurse. Blood is dripping everywhere. Ugh. Ooh. Did you cry when he hit you? I didn't cry when he hit me. I only had to. I only shed a, like a tear or two when they, like, had to shove my tooth back into my gums and reattach it to the like the bone. So was that all? They just pushed your tooth in. Did they have to do anything else afterwards? They had to attach. Um, I can't like, go back. To that. They had to. Yeah, don't get my review this one. Um, okay. they had to put a wire over my tooth because he hit it so hard and my tooth knocked out that my permanent retainer in the back of my teeth like snapped off and I don't know where it went. 
but they had so to. How much? How much? Like, did, did y'all have to pay for all that damage? Nah, he didn't make the Orthodox didn't make us pay for that because he's he's yeah. actually a really good dude. Would you have pressed charges? I, um, I don't know. I mean, actually. really, could you? I feel like yeah, probably. We could sue the school. Um, I feel like that's too much. Stuff. Well, actually, nah, because that is you, a pretty you, bad injury. You could sue the school. You could press charges on him. I mean, it is assault. Yeah. But, but I mean, I don't think I could have because then I assaulted him after. So. Yeah. <laughs> I did what my <laughs> I did what my dad told me to do. He told me not to tell my mom that he told me that, but he told me to do what I needed. Because my dad did that same shit in high school where he wouldn't take shit from anybody and. You get hit, you you hit him back. Yeah, that's true. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah on the <laughs> yeah, I've never okay. gotten into a serious fight. Like, I feel like teachers are so, like, not... Yeah, like, if you get hit, they just want you to take it and be like, oh, yeah, just hit me again. Yeah, and that's then they want you to tell them the person. Yeah. That's not how that works. Yeah, like... Dude, why is it always the victim that gets in trouble? Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. My controller died. Nah, but luckily that dude's a senior. Never have to see him again. <laughs> I mean, nah, but bro is being on. Anyway? Maybe. Well, okay, so I. Me and him aren't, like, hating each other anymore. Um. Well, like a month later when I when we went back to school or whatever, um, not a month, probably like three, four, four weeks maybe, he um, he just went, how's your tooth? And I didn't say anything. I just shrugged my shoulders and grabbed my backpack. And, and this is after you and then, uh, punched him and stabbed him? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. wait, when you stabbed him, uh, what was his reaction? No, I didn't stab him. No, I didn't stab him. I punched him. <laughs> I was you like... punched him or slapped him? <laughs> punched him. Like... Oh, I thought I thought you said I thought you said stabbed at first. <laughs> stabbed? <laughs> no, I, I was like, no, I didn't stab him. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> but, but yeah, but this was after everything. We came back so and just you, you punched him in the face and what was his reaction? He's turned around and grabbed his nose and I walked out the locker room. But he knew he fucked like he deserved that shit, so he just he didn't do anything after that. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't try to do something else after that. But I think I would have taken I'm just it back. Picture this in my head. You just walking in the locker room all mad. He turns and you just punch him and then walk out. Yeah, it, it it was a scene. I felt like I was in a movie. I was like, yo, I'm was the there main there a lot character. of people in there? Nah, it was just us. That's why I did it. It and was just we the both. two of you. Yeah, cause the locker room isn't. Cause the locker room gets like. Like people like the teacher comes in there pretty often. That's why I had to do it quick because people vape in the bathrooms There might have been somebody there's the bathroom or the bathroom and the locker room are like attached There's a bathroom in the locker room. So people go in the stalls uh, to the vape. So the teacher comes in and He was on the locker room side, but they're like right next to each other So I w went in there and did that and walked right out and then he came out like a couple minutes later He just didn't do anything which I was surprised. I'm like, I'm gonna have to deal with this dude later but the anger <laughs> mostly but yeah, but then yeah, I saw him at the rec when I was playing basketball with Ethan and Enzo and a couple of other people. He came over and watched because he was friends with one of the people we were playing with. And he was being all nice to me. It was like the weirdest shit. Because he called me Josh, called me Josh Giddy, which is this NBA player who looks like me. And I was like, ah, all right. And then he was like, he started calling me Kobe afterwards. I'm like, is he trying to, he's trying to fucking was flirt with me? Stop being gay. Yeah, he was just saying it to me. Uh, yeah. I was like, stop being gay, bro. <laughs> was he happy that you punched that guy? Like, what the fuck was he, a bully? I don't, I don't know. Like, well, no, that, that was a dude that I punched. The, the person who's saying this. Oh. Is, yeah, it is weird when you have, like, beef with somebody. And, and then, then they start being when you nice. See them again, they try to like be extra nice. It just makes it yeah. really weird. It's just really awkward. It's just like it would have been better if you just didn't come over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is pretty awkward. Like, I don't want to be cool with you, but can I still be mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like <laughs> that's exactly yeah. how it is. Like I don't, I don't want to hate each other, but I, can I still be mean to you? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I liked it better when we were rude to each other. It just made me yeah. want to avoid them. <laughs> that is the worst. 
Okay. No, that sounds pretty awkward. So if you ask yeah. me. Yeah. This is fucking weird. And he would come in my PE too after that, and he'd play like knockout with us, cause like we play knockout sometimes, cause we play pickup games, and then like normal basketball, like when we played basketball in PE, and then we played knockout sometimes, and he'd come and play knockout, and he would always get seconds in me. It made me feel like I was uh, the coolest person on earth. I was playing. Nah, no, I, I, I really didn't get um, too excited over that because he's mainly a football player. So it's like, yo, I just be a football player at basketball. I'm so cool. It's really not. It's not. It's not an accomplishment. It's Wait. just. Um, you want to what? Basketball? I'm so I am a basketball player. I'm saying he was a football player. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Manhattan, like the high school I go to, uh, it's um, it's a six A school for sports. Like mm -hmm. so, like most schools are like three A. Our school is a 6A, which means we have like one of the best football team teams in the country. Our basketball is like a oh, our basketball is a 4A, but I don't play for the high school team. I usually play for a traveling league because um, I don't know high school basketball for like high schools doesn't really get you offers to play in college, so right. can't do that. But anyway, for football it does. But anyways, he's like um, we had two like high recruits on our football team and he was one of them. It's really stupid. <laughs> Him and he's like oh. a fucking lineman and then the other one who's my friend named Vinny, he's the quarterback and they're both like going to play in college. So mm. I hope he tells his college buddies the time he got socked by a sophomore when he was a senior. <laughs> <laughs> a skinny old white kid. Yeah. God dang this and The AI thing is, weird. is the fucking teacher saw him knock my tooth out. He didn't do anything. He was so fucking weird. Like, Wait, so he watched you get your tooth knocked? Yes! <laughs> we have this fat Mexican teacher. He's like, oh. he doesn't leave his chair. His name is Ryan Smalls, alright? He sits at his- Was he ever fit? No, no, like he's- So then, this is what I don't understand. Yeah, exactly. He would